Hello procrastinators and welcome to a quick extra video for today. Uh, this is once again Besiege and I'm going to show off something I've been building and have been building for a few days now. This boop, is my helicarrier. It's sort of a prototype. I want to make it look like the shield one with like the, the wonky runways. The one that's in the Avengers movie and the, uh, the most recent Captain America movie. I want to make that, and this is sort of the prototype for it. Now, the rules of making this are simple. It can only be, it can only go up via propellers. I can use these to move it around and go left to right, etc. But the only, all the flight has to come from the uh, propellers. That's why there's three of the sodding things in each corner. If there's two, it doesn't go. If there's one, it definitely doesn't go. Uh, we have, so these are all the various forms of steering. We can tilt it forwards, backwards, left, right. Rotate it left, right, and go forward and backwards. Uh, it has some bombs here with working bomb doors that open up and the bombs fall out and it all goes wrong. Uh, here we have some self-destruct mechanisms. Uh, just in case you know it's in space and it needs to come crashing down to the planet, it's probably best if it blows up up there and just fires deadly, deadly debris at the ground, uh, deep impact style. Uh, instead of, you know, throwing the whole damn thing at it like a fucking meteorite. Uh, and this is the command module where everybody lives. I don't know why I've got a piece of metal out. Um, yeah, so this is where everybody lives. And we can detach that separately in case anything goes wrong. So this ejects. And that's everything that happens. Now, let's give it a launch. Takes a little while to load up. <laughs> so a lot of physics happen. Boom. Right, I've set it to zero because you have to spool this thing up. You can't just go, right, go, full speed. Otherwise, it'll break. And we can only play a game about 50 before the frame rate shits itself and dies. Right, we bring it up to about 10 or 11. And we just let it settle. It needs a little bit of settling. Sometimes it goes wrong. We'll now check the engines are all going fine. This is a bit weak one. This is kind of shaking here. Sometimes these break, so you've got to be sort of careful. If they break, then it's a no-fly before we fix them. Uh, but no, that appears to be everything's working fine. As you can see, it's already taken off. So we can kick it up to uh, full speed, which is about 50. I'm going to just push left to cancel that rotation. We're coming back on ourselves there, so I'm just going to tilt to the left. Uh, sorry, to the right and forward a little bit. Uh, and then gentle rotation left. And that appears to be pretty much hovering. There is my helicarrier. Let's go forwards and uh, bomb some stuff. In fact, let's go and bomb this little dude here. Okay. Ooh, I went a little bit too fast. It's very hard to keep this thing in control. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, right. These are actually on different timers, these. So they have different times it takes to hinge them off. So when I push the button to open all this, they actually all drop in a slight pattern. So we get sort of this animation. Do, 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 do. So yeah, it bombs. It's like if we're going fast, we can bomb a larger area. Uh, not just we don't. We're not just stuck to bombing like all the bombs go out in one. It's a nice little set area, and then we can close up the the bomb bay doors again. Right, uh, and then uh, we'll attempt to land it. Oh, and also we can uh, push circle uh, or zero because I'm using most of the number pad for. The, in fact, the entire number pad, everything on the number pad does something. It's full number pad control and the arrow keys. If we push uh, the zero on the number pad, we can descend slowly and gracefully. Uh, I think we're actually descending straight towards that thing. So if we go forwards and turn, actually turn and then forwards. Hang on, let it go. We can do a hover by gently tapping and untapping. It's not a fan of doing that, but it can do that. <laughs> this this isn't the like the best thing. Like it do, it doesn't hold together perfectly, but it's doing kind of okay. Uh, I'm, I'm quite fond of the way it's going. Right, there we go. Get a tilt forward a bit because we're really quite off on the tilt. I actually had sort of um, some boulders in uh, the half pipes. So you get these like nice smooth half pipe things can roll up and down with a barrier on the edge. So I could work out like almost like a spirit level. Like, you know, you get a little bubble in water just to see like how it was doing and how everything was tilting. Uh, but unfortunately, that just really heavily weighted everything. <laughs> and it went completely wrong. Oh, the lucks we had. So basically, any time I was slightly off level, the thing telling me I was slightly off level would put me really, really, really off level. Okay, now we're going to come in here for a nice, gentle landing. I want to prove I can do a nice, gentle landing with this, and then I can get to the fun exploding it and ruining it uh, a bit that you all know is coming afterwards. Right, tilt it to the right slightly, coming down gently. Mind that shape, and that is a gentle, graceful, slightly hit that corner of the ramp landing. Boom! The helicarrier worked. And then we simply push a button and Director Fury gets dropped off and the helicarrier can go to its missions off in space or whatever. Which are, and then they're going to come. These are the guys. We just dropped off Nick Fury, in, who lives in there, who is the size of a sheep, apparently. It's a big sheep, that one. And now we just, we, uh, we descend, ascend, not descend, ascend off into the distance. 
It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, we had a slight break there from the landing. That's a shame. Uh, let's test the uh, self-destruct mechanism. So we push that very gently, and that sets everything on fire. And then that all goes around there, and it will collapse in midair. <laughs> but I mentioned that. That was planned. Like, I, this has been built really well. Like, I spent a lot of time making sure this works. Actually, he uh, he's sort of been a bit squished by some metal. That may end up killing him. And we killed a few people as well. But we would have killed more if it just crashed and exploded. As I'm about to prove. <laughs> right, so yeah. It, actually, I wonder what happens if you... Hang on. Oh, God. See, this is what happens if you set it off at 50. Sometimes the things break. Oh, no. I think everything held together that time. I'm not entirely sure. No, no, no. See, look. If you do it... Look, it broke there. If you do it fast, it breaks. Then it goes wrong. So now we do have to use the self-destruct mechanism. And direct, Director Fury will eject, eject the director. That'll collapse, fall and explode, and mostly explode on Nick Fury. Well, we've ended the shield there. That's a shame. Right. <laughs> we'll go, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do uh, another bombing run, I think. We'll go bomb that castle. That's it. Let's do a proper mission. Let's bomb that castle. Alright, so I need to tilt it forwards. Oh, I started on full speed again. That was a mistake. Although it seems to have held together this time. It just, it just gives you a, a better chance of uh, holding together. There we go, there we go. Forwards, 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 turn. I wanna I wanna make this sort of like be fully like armored and stuff. I may end up getting four propellers in each corner if I wanna get to that stage. Look how smooth and gorgeous this is. Look at that, it's like an egg. That's how smooth and gorgeous it is. Okay, so we're just gonna come stay a little bit low. Whoop, steady. Right, rotate towards it. Hang on, have I got enough clearance room there? Yes, <laughs> just about if I go up a little. There we go, right. Okay, I'm actually tilting up quite a bit, so I've got to tilt myself forwards. I'm going to slow it down just a bit so I can get into position. Get into position. Please get into position. That's, there we go, we're going to go slightly to the left and do this. Bombing! Look at that. Graceful. Elegant. Completely missed. Well, someone got fired into the castle, so I suppose that almost worked. Right, um, oh, that's the wrong way. Ah, what I've done there is I've slightly broken the insides because I tilted that the wrong way. I pushed, uh, I was pushing enter, not three. Oh, well, one of them snapped off, which will completely misweight it, so this is going to crash now. Eject Director Fury! Fire the self destruct mechanism and watch it explode in midair. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love how it just sort of folds in itself. And then, look, see, nobody was harmed. Ignore the explosions that are happening. That's not for anybody being harmed, and Fury survives. So, yeah, that is my little, uh, my little helicarrier, what I built in Besiege, just thought I'd show it off, because it's pretty, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cool and cute, you know? I, I like it. Now, let's just, let's drop the bombs while it's on the ground in super slow motion. Because you're only here because you thought I'd fail, and you thought it would explode. Oh, there's been a break or something here, because that one's off. That one's timed off. Oh, well. Yeah, so you, you were only here because you thought this would all explode. And you are mostly right. Director Fury! He's leaving. I do like the fact that this actually doesn't... If this is moving anyway, it just sort of bounces off here. Yeah. He gets pretty much killed by the, the whiplash of that, but that's fine. So this one drops first, that one drops last. Here it goes. Oh, it was so beautiful. Why do you make me destroy these things, Internet? Why? Okay. Ooh. Oh, good grief. That's such an explosion. And there it goes. Raining through. Fire ripping through all of my lovely... Well built, well designed fans. Why didn't olden times have their own shield helicarrier? Why not? I've proven it could have worked in wood. All you need is wood and infinite spinning propulsion. And the Middle Ages had that, as proved by this. Actually, that hasn't really burnt away properly, so now we just have a, like a moving top half. That's fun. Oh no, there it goes. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's a bit there. It's a slightly dangerous thing if it goes wrong, but it's fine. But if, where's Fury? Aww. Oh no, he survived! Yes! And that's the shield power carrier. Goodbye. <laughs>